Hello, 3-5 scholars, and welcome back to um, another video with your art teacher, Mr. Farrar. Um, today, uh, I want to focus on, since it is one of our first meetings, uh, to actually focus on art and you doing some artwork with the links that I'm going to put in um, to the Google Classroom for you guys to, to utilize. Um, we're going to talk about lines today. Lines are the basic uh, building blocks, or you could say the basic things that we use to make art. So when an artist begins to think about what he or she would like to do, um, usually they draw those ideas out on paper. And the first thing you do when you draw is you make a line. So lines are basically how we get our ideas out there in visual arts, pretty much. Um, every idea starts with making a line. Um, so what a line is, is very, very simple. A line is just starting at one point and moving to another point. So it's basically, like I said, you, you're taking your pencil, your paintbrush, your marker, your um, graphite, your charcoal, whatever you're using to draw with, and you're moving from one place to another. Um, there are straight lines, there are curved lines, there are rough looking lines, there are smoother lines that you could create, just depending on what type of tool that you're using. So um, if you were at Princeville last year, you might, and if you were in one of these classes, you might recognize this drawing or the one at the bottom, if you can see it down here, or this drawing. Um, so what we did uh, when we did these drawings as a class is we started off by making lines. Um, and those lines started to create shapes. Um, so that's the basic idea of a line. A line is just something you make that helps you to create shapes and other uh, forms of shading in a drawing. So if we look right here, my lines are very fine. I, I, drew, I drew all of these, but we drew them as a class for these three right here. But if we look right here, the lines are very fine. Um, I drew this. Um, very slowly. Um, there is some quick movements within these lines. Over here, you can see the lines are a lot thicker and you can tell that it's something different. And what's the difference between this, this drawing and this drawing is that this was crayons and this was a uh, color pencil. So a line can vary or change depending on what type of, of tool that you're using to draw with. So keep that in mind. So don't just assume that every drawing is gonna look the same no matter what type of tools you use. They actually do make a difference. A crayon is gonna make a different mark than a color pencil. And a graphite pencil is gonna make a different mark than a pencil. A pen is gonna make a different mark than a crayon. They're all gonna be different. Um, and you can look at the smoothness, the thickness of a line, the roughness of a line, um, and you can kind of determine what someone used to make that line. All right. Um, so when we look, when you do the, uh, follow some of the the things that I'll be sending into the links. Think about what type of um, instrument, uh, drawing instrument, or thing that I'm going to be using to draw with. Um, what would be the best thing to color, to draw, to make my lines with when you look at the, the images that you're gonna be sent um, in the links? Um, and look at what the artist is using. Um, I cannot draw with you guys. I would love to be able to do the, these really, really specific drawings with you guys and you follow me, um, but the videos would be just too long. So I'm gonna try my best to give you as much information and maybe do a few demos with you guys, uh, demonstrations with you guys of what I, how I draw and how I approach drawing. But I'm also gonna give you a lot of links to YouTube and a lot of different um, links to different places so that you can get a better understanding of how to do something. And you can take the time to really enhance your artistry 
and I'll be there every step of the way to assist you with my videos as well. Um, so that's basically it. I just wanted to give you a little brief message about what lines are. And lines are also an element of art. And there are about seven elements of art actually, um, depending on how some people look, some people believe that there are more and some people uh, believe that there are seven. Um, but lines is really one of the elements of art because it is one of the basic building blocks that we use to create art. And you can find lines all around you. It's not just on flat surfaces. Every place where something starts or stops gen generally will create a line. Um, even if you look at the edge of the board that goes all the way around, there's a line that creates a square or the edge of your paper um, creates a square. Um, so any place that um, you're having something, the beginning of something and the end of something, so the beginning of space and the end of this base is going to create a line. So when you start to think of things in that way, then it's easier to draw them because you're understanding that wherever something stops, it's going to create a line. Uh, and it's a great way of looking at art and looking at how to draw something. So as we move further on, we'll be discussing how to look at something and draw it. And um, so I really hope this helps. There will be links included uh, along with this video.